for ages now. Um, and if there's one criticism that I get um, from audience members, it's that sometimes I talk um, pretty quickly, and I have a bit of a Scottish twang, if you can hear it. Um, and I've got to think, why is it that uh, when people talk to each other, uh, often they don't really fully understand each other? Like, there's often things that get um, sort of lost in translation as well. Whereas when we write things down, like in emails and letters, everyone can understand themselves perfectly fine. And um, I think we'll come up with a reason. You see, when we talk to each other, we don't use punctuation. And if we could somehow allocate verbal sounds to different punctuation marks, then everyone would be able to understand each other perfectly well. So, I devised a system in which a verbal sound is allocated to a punctuation mark. So, for example, a full stop sounds like this. A dash sounds like this. An exclamation mark is, of course, a vertical dash with a full stop underneath. A comma. Quotation marks, obviously, two comma. Or if you happen to be um, left handed. It's um, a question mark, sounds like this. And finally, the colon. Now, the colon could be two full stops, but that's a bit of a mouthful. Um, so, as you do in English, I've abbreviated it to one long. <laughs> so, with that in mind, I thought I'd do a song. Um, this is one of the greatest songs I've ever written, uh, Maria from West Side Story. See you see, see later. <laughs> Maria! Oh. 